So some of the parameters, especially the, the um, pipe sizes have been adjusted and these values um, came up. And so there is actually a relationship between the formula for Darcy Ray's back head, um, head loss, which states that your head loss is equal to the friction factor multiplied by L, which is the length of the pipe, multiplied by the square of velocity, all over the um, double the acceleration due to gravity and multi um, also divided by the diameter. So what this means is that if we def decide to, for instance, reduce this pipe diameter, so if we decide to reduce it, there is going to be it is going to affect the velocity here. So if we decide to run the simulation, remember this was um, previously 1.2 something. Now you can see that by reducing the diameter, the velocity had increased. And again, if you look at it, it also affected some of the other um, values. But you can see here, this value is still low. This one is still low. So what can we do about this? So if you look at this, the pipe length is so long and it will actually result in you know reduction in head loss so the pipe diameter here what if we decide to reduce it to 100 now when we do that let's see what if let's run our simulation and see what happens so you can see the value had increased from 0 0.3 something up to that but again, I mentioned earlier that there is a relationship between your velocity and your pressure. And you can see that as a result of the change in the pipe size, the pressure had also reduced around this vicinity. So what this means is that you need to continue to make adjustments within the network to ensure that it fell within the reasonable values. So if, for instance, it seems to be difficult to achieve, we can always go back here. Remember, the reservoir may be an elevated tank or something. And if you can see here, we have a total head of just 70. So the head losses are also playing a role, you know, in affecting our, you know, target values. So we may decide to increase the, high, um, the total head from 70 to, let's say, 75. And... Observe what happens. You will see that this value will increase. All these values will increase. So let's see. Let's run our simulation. And this is 26.41. This is 19. Point, this is 13.99. So we can see this has increased from 26.41 to 31.41. And this was formerly 13.99 and is now giving us 18.99. And so all the values had increased. So what, how can we convert this? Let's look at our calculator again. Now, if we decide to multiply 18, okay, we still have a low value here. So if we say 14.89 times 